Hi, my name is Sanjoy Chaudhary. I'm a data enthusiast and love working with technologies like big data, data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, as well as the traditional data warehousing and business intelligence systems. The next step would be to process the data. We usually do two kinds of processing, a batch processing and a real-time processing. So batch processing of big data, one of the tools that is used very, very frequently is PIG. It is a tool for execute, executing the data flow, big data flow in parallel on Hadoop. The data analysis and data transformation in PIG is done using a language called PIG Latin. So PIG, it runs on top of Hadoop and uses both HDFS and map reducing map reduce programming framework for doing the data transformation analysis and storage and it is one of the tools for processing big data in batch mode another tool for processing big data in the batch mode is hive i mentioned earlier that hive is basically a data warehousing framework on top of hadoop people who are what should i say already familiar with the data warehousing technology would be having a slightly better understanding of what hadoop is doing or sorry what hive is doing on top of hadoop incidentally hive was developed at facebook while pig was developed at yahoo hive uses concepts of rdbms right tables joints relations etc for storing the data and it uses a sql like language called hiveql for data analysis it is suitable for performing batch jobs over large sets of immutable data so the advantage of hive is people who are already familiar with rdbms and sql they would have a very small learning curve while working with hive because hive uses similar concepts as rdbms for storage and it uses a similar declarative language like sql for analyzing the data with pig it is slightly different right pig latin is a completely different kind of language so the learning curve for analyzing data in batch using pig is slightly higher but both of them have their own place in the batch processing of big data both pig and hive were used in the Aadhaar project while doing the batch processing of big data in Aadhaar we know there was a data from the enrollment process and then there was a data from the authentication process so analyzing the data from both these processes required use of pig and hive pig is basically used primarily as an etl tool okay where we can do the necessary transformation of the data before pushing it and storing it in the hive framework and in the other what we did was the ETL aspects were hand of the data were handled by PIG. Once the business logic and transformation, the transformation of data was completed using the necessary big business logic, the data was pushed into a data warehousing framework built on built with Hive. And then from Hive, using HiveQL, we created data sets that were moved into a data bot which was built using mysql and all reporting was primarily done from the data bots using pentaho these technologies mysql pentaho may have changed now i'm talking about the time when Aadhaar was getting built all right i was one of the architects for the business intelligent aspects of uh, of Aadhaar. so Based on that 
So we realized that the batch processing of big data would require the use of both big and hive. Next, we move on to the real-time processing of big data. And sort of the de facto tool for doing that is Spark. Spark is basically a distributing environment on top of Hadoop, right? One thing that distinguishes Spark from Hadoop is Spark has only computational capabilities. It has no storage capabilities like Hadoop. However, Spark has in-memory computation capability and hence it is almost a hundred times faster than Hadoop while processing data. That is the reason why Spark is so suited for real-time processing of big data. Spark can use HDFS for data storage and YARN which is short form of yet another resource negotiator for doing any kind of resource management on the cluster. So this is how it leverages the Hadoop environment. So it is another application which runs on top of Hadoop. Kafka is another tool that is used for analyzing big data in real time. Kafka is not really an analysis tool, but it is basically a messaging system. All right. So a messaging system we know is responsible for transferring the data from one application to another. All right. There are two types. One is a point to point, another is a publish subscribe, and Kafka is a publish subscribe based messaging system. The Kafka messages can be persisted on the disks, okay, so that the loss of messages, messages means data, is prevented, right? And it can integrate very well with Apache Spark to do streaming analysis of the data. So for real-time processing, Kafka and Spark work hand-in-hand hand for doing any kind of real-time processing of big data. Here is a typical architecture for analyzing big data. We have data coming in from RDBMS systems and that is pushed into Hadoop using Scoop. The big data files, we can use HDFS commands, which are just like Linux commands to push the data from these files into Hadoop. And the log data can be pushed into Hadoop using Flume. The streaming data would get into Hadoop through Kafka. Kafka could also pass on the streaming data to Apache Spark for real-time data analysis. So once the data is in Hadoop, we could do a batch processing of the data using Apache Pick for your ETL uh, processing and then pushing the data into a Hive data warehousing framework from where we can generate reports and dashboards. Similarly, the real-time processing of the data can be done using Apache Spark. After processing of the data in Spark, we could create real-time dashboards and reports or else push the data into a NoSQL data store from where we can analyze the data and create reports and dashboards. So this would be a typical Hadoop based environment or architecture for analyzing big data. So with the advent of Hadoop, how does the information management system look like in the new age? Well, as we can see in this diagram, on the top, we have the enterprise data warehouse where data from all the legacy systems are getting stored. We have seen this process in greater detail in session one and we can analyze the data in the enterprise data warehouse to create reports and dashboards. The big data from your POS systems, the point of sale systems, the different kind of log files, social media files, RFID, sensor data, those are pushed into a Hadoop data lake. We can process this data separately, again to create reports and dashboards, or the 
modern day new age information management systems are merging and mashing the data between an enterprise data warehouse and a Hadoop play so that we get more enriched data for get, de- generating our reports and dashboards. Organizations have seen that this kind of enrichment has given them better insights into different kinds of business processes. The internal data gets stored in the enterprise warehouse. Data external to the organization are getting stored in the Hadoop Lake. And when they are able to merge these data, they are able to create a more holistic view of their business process.